we don't ever actually break free of our childhoods. One of the principles of science that we know is that energy is never created or destroyed. And in place of energy, you can put in the word information. So think of it this way, information is never created or destroyed. The information that exists from your childhood events will exist and continue to exist forever. So the only question is, what can we actually do with that information? When I'm working with people often, I ask them this question, look, if I could take a magic wand and wave it and change any terrible event that ever occurred in your past, but if I wave this magic wand, although we can change the event in the past, what you will have no control over is the present or the future. And the waving of that wand has the potential to change everything that's in your life today. All of the people that you love or care for, all of the circumstances of your life today and going forward in the future. Would you have me wave the magic wand? Literally, I've never had a single individual say to me they would wave the wand. So of course, we always think about changing the past, but we never think about the idea that if we could change the past, it would also affect the present and the future. And in truth, most of us wouldn't change the past if it also meant that it was changing the present and the future of our lives. So all we can do is move forward. And in moving forward, we have a choice about what we're going to do with that past, how we're going to integrate it into our lives. And we can learn to change the perception of it being something terrible into something that can teach us a value or give us a context with which to appreciate. The better question is, how can I change the way I look at my past? How can I re-perceive the events of my past to contribute to my present or contribute to my future? And if you'll do that, then we can begin to make our way out of the prisons that keep us often trapped and stuck in a state of illusion.